Hi, my name is Bill Behe. I'm the CIO of Physicians Medical Group Santa Cruz and the Santa Cruz Health Information Exchange. Today we're going to tell the story of a patient, Marilyn Ardell, who is a, uh, a female patient with abdominal pain. And uh, she, uh, is, uh, she goes through the health system between her primary care doctor, going to the hospital, back to her primary care doctor, and, um, and ultimately to surgery and then to home. So we're going to show these transitions of care all done electronically uh, and shared between the doctors that are involved. So we, we start with Marilyn visiting her, her primary care doctor, Sharon Smith, uh, complaining of abdominal pain. And the doctor uh, uses his EHR to order electronically using the E-Lynx uh, system to order a urinalysis, a liver panel, an amylase, and a CBC test. And those get uh, ordered and transmitted using this E-Link system to Quest Laboratories. The doctor fills in all of the pertinent information to support the lab test, and, and the lab is transmitted electronically uh, to, to Quest. The next thing that happens is that the, the doctor orders a radiology test from a different system And, and sends it. Finally, the doctor asks the patient if they'd like to set their consent to share so that, that the patient's information is shared among all the caregivers that, are, that she's going to be seeing in the health information system at the various facilities, and the patient says yes. So feeling better, the patient goes home, and uh, the test results are normal. However, the next day, she awakens and she's in great pain, and she goes to the emergency room. So we're going to uh, log into the system as the emergency room doctor, and as you can see, the doctor in the emergency room needs to click that they have a treatment relationship with the patient and the patient's consent to look at this data that was generated elsewhere. And now, here you see that the emergency room doctor can see the test results that were ordered by the primary care doctor and, and now appears in, in that emergency room uh, uh, view of the data. So this doctor um, determines that another uh, radiology image is needed and goes to an imaging order and orders a um, a CT for the patient. Uh, he gives the patient some medications and sends the patient home who's feeling better. And the following day, the patient goes back to their primary care doctor who, um, who determines that it's quite likely that uh, she has a gallbladder disease and he orders a scan and gets the results of that scan and, um, and sends the patient, does a referral for the patient over to the surgeon. So here's the referral where he's asking the surgeon to uh, verify the diagnosis and schedule the patient for surgery. Clicks send and that, that has gone to the surgeon in a different system. So the, uh, the surgeon looks in the system, performs the surgery, verifies all the information, looks in the system, and um, dictates the op note and the history and physical, which is also shared back with the primary care doctor. So now Marilyn is uh, home resting, relaxing, recovering, and the primary care doctor wants to send some information to the patient's health fault account using the direct messaging standard. And he generates a continuity of care document as well as an op report and wants to send them to Maryland. And there's the documents that, that the doctor wants to send to Maryland. So in this case, the doctor is originating the message to Health Vault in, 
in uh, Microsoft Outlook. And you can see that the address is Maryland's direct address at Health Vault. And he attaches the documents that he wants to send to Maryland. And click Send. Now we'll show the patient view of Health Vault. And you can see there's a message there from the primary care doctor, Sharon Smith, which has uh, the CCD and the op report. And we'll open the op report. Which is a PDF document. And we'll go to Health Vault now to look at those documents and that data in Health Vault. Health Vault has pulled in the discrete elements of the CCD and put them into the into her Health Vault account, updated her allergies and and medications, and then also took the file the op report and put it under documents and files and that concludes the uh, the visit